Hallelujah. We worship your Lord for who you are. Not See, God is never becoming anything. He already is everything. So we worship him. In spite of whatever situation you're going through, we worship him for who he is. The Bible says God is a very present help. Not he was and not will be, but he is. Yes. Whatever you're going through, God is Amen. a good God. Yes. Well, I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Charlie, I'm glad to see you this morning. You just been on my heart. I just, I just intercede for you all the time. I like that smile. You just keep that. Don't let nobody, no one. Hallelujah. You keep that. You keep fighting. God I got great things here. It's been showing me. Just keep fighting. Keep fighting like a good fight. It's going to be all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know you got, you got battles. But if you'll stand, you'll watch God do some miraculous things in your midst. Hallelujah. Do some miraculous things. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Well, I'm glad to be here. Let's give my lovely wife a hand. I love her. I'm glad she loves me. Hallelujah. Thank God for our musicians and singers. you to pray for Elder Brown. His sister passed. I think they probably already said something. But he called me Thursday. She was 52 years old. Oh, wow. And they found her at home dead. And mm. so, you know, if you, if the rapture don't take place first, you going to leave here. Amen. Amen. That ain't an option. Yes. Amen. You're going to leave here. Amen. It's how you leave. That's it. That's it. That's it. See, we divide things on this earth, and there's so many different things. But God divides things in two categories: people in the two categories. That's it. Yeah. We got two categories of people. That's all God has. He has the saved, the unsaved. Amen. That's Amen. It. He looks at this world and says, either you know Him or you don't. That's it. Now, he, he sees all these and this is he, but that, that's not how he divides it. Mm -hmm. He divides into the righteous and unrighteous. Amen. That's it. Amen. So either you're ready to go because you don't know when you're going to leave. Amen. That's it. That's it. Amen. She was a young woman, and they wasn't expecting her to go. Mm -hmm. You don't know when, and I don't know when will be my last day, so what? It behooves you to do is make sure that you're ready to go. Amen. Whenever you leave here. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I've seen a lot of preachers try to preach people into heaven. 
It's a little bit late now. Amen. Because however you die, that's it. However you enter into eternity, if you knew Jesus as your personal Savior, or you didn't. I know it ain't all the call, but I need to say that. I may not make all the call. Amen. You need to know that right now. Mm -hmm. This could be your last moment. Amen. All right. Well, get your Bibles. Amen. Amen. Get your Bibles. If y'all should know where I'm going by now. <laughs> where? <laughs> Say it again, JP. First Timothy. I'm not second. First Timothy. All right. I love the Word of God. Don't you? Amen. Amen. I said, don't you love God's Word? Amen. Amen. Ah. Uh, uh, would you stand to your feet? It's our custom that you stand to your feet. So if you can, I mean, you may not be able to, uh, but if you can, <coughs> would you stand to honor the word of the living God? Would you do that? Amen. Hallelujah. I'm glad I'm, I'm able to still stand. Amen. Oh, uh, yeah. Glory to God. I say, I'm glad. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm glad I'm moving these knees and ankles and everything else. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm glad. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. First Timothy 6 and 12. Let's say it. All right. Fight. 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 You see it up there? The good fight. The good fight. Uh, I love this. It's a good fight for those who's winning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Glory yeah. to God. Fight. 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 The good fight. The good fight. Of faith. Of faith. faith. In the conflict. In the conflict. With, conflict. Evil. with evil. With evil. Take hold, Take hold of, eternal life, of eternal life to which you were called, to which you were called and for which you were made the good profession of faith in the presence, in the presence of, many of many witnesses. All right, all right, let's go where. We all know where you're going now. I, 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 you know what? I, I, I don't preach much, but I love teaching. You know what? Because if you can get, if you can understand what God is saying, that's it. That's it. That's you can grow. Amen. And I'm about seeing people grow up. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And what's the sense of getting excited and then go home and live to feed it? That's it. Well, that's it. Well. You, you got real excited. Oh, I had great joy. Then you go home. As soon as the devil out, you walk out the door, smack you upside the head. Some of y'all, before you walk out the door, yeah. all somebody have to do is say the wrong thing, and you lose yeah. all your joy, all your peace. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. You with me? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. What does Hosea 4 and 6 says? What does it say? All right, let's stop and let's read it together again. Let's go. Where does he reveal his will? What is his law? It's the word of God. He says, a lamp unto our feet and a what? A light unto our path. And so if you're walking in darkness or if you're walking in ignorance, it's because you don't know what the word is saying about something. The word has something to say about everything in your life. The reason why families I've been in are defeated is because they don't know the word. Amen. Yeah. Amen. The reason why many of our children are defeated because they grew up in the church but they didn't learn the word. Amen. So, yeah. Amen. yeah, you got to know this. Amen. This ain't mama religion. <laughs> it ain't gonna work for you because it worked for mama. Uh -huh. Huh, you got to know this. Amen. Hallelujah. My people are destroyed. What? Amen. Okay, we're gonna stop there. Keep reading the rest of that. <laughs> Stick with it. Stay with it. All right. You ought to have it in your mind. We got, we got to move on. Let's go to Proverbs 4 and 7. Then we're going to get into back into our, our lesson from last week. Proverbs 4 and 7. All right. You going with me? All right. What does it say? Wisdom is what? Wisdom is what? 
Okay, now I know it's there. Okay, now read it. What does it say? The beginning of wisdom is what? The beginning of wisdom is what? The beginning of wisdom is what? Mm-hmm. Read it. Okay, so in the King James, you may be saying, said, wisdom is the what? Principal thing. And so, if wisdom is the principal thing, then shout name. Well. Then speaking in tongues ain't right. Mm -hmm. Then not how well you sing, right? Right. And none of the other things that we may think is principal in church. It says wisdom is the principal thing. Amen. Now there's some other things you can get, but if you ain't got wisdom, Come on. you miss the principal thing. Yes, sir. Amen. And with all of that getting, it says what? You don't understand. You don't understand. Because if I don't have an understanding, that's how people begin to argue. Sometimes in a marriage, it could be something real simple, mm -hmm. but because people don't, the two don't, they don't understand, it blows up into something real big, don't it? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Oh, yes, Amen. And then it's because, why don't you say it? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I like uh, understanding. Understand yeah. Two good friends fall out. Well, brother, you said so and so. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. But that's why I thought I heard you say. Come on, make it play. And what happens? You got people that ain't spoken years because they didn't have an understanding of what went on in the beginning. Amen. Amen. You're right. Well, a lot of people are kind of upset at God. Mm -hmm. Because they don't get an understanding of who God is and who they are. And so we blame things on God that God has nothing to do with. Come on. You see, turn to the book of Genesis, the first chapter, and we'll just move on through there, all right? Would you go there with me? We are talking about, say, failure, failure. to understand failure. what it means. What it means. To be a new creature, to be a new creature in, Christ Jesus. in Christ Jesus. You see, if you don't understand that as a believer, then you're going to have a difficult walk with God. Uh -huh. my, my, my. And it won't be as enjoyable as it should be. Uh -huh. And you have moments and spots of happiness, but this joy, this peace, uh -huh. this life that God intended for you to have, <coughs> you won't have it. And it won't be God's fault. Because he told you to study. Yeah. See, if I stand up here and tell you something wrong and you don't study, you'll go out of here with something wrong. Amen. You'll believe it and you'll try to act upon it. Here's the key. God only honors his word, not what you think about it, boy. Amen, amen. He said, my word won't return, boy. Mm -hmm. Not your opinion of my word. Preach your pastor. Not what you think about my word. Right. Not what someone told you about my word. My, my word, rightly divided, will never return to me, boy. Amen, amen. amen. So, we talk about God and say things about God but a lot of things ain't true. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 We say God took people lives that he didn't. That's right. mm -hmm. We say God brought bad situations that he didn't. Amen. See, just because I allow something don't mean right. that I have ordained something. Amen. Thank you. This earth is fallen. Mm -hmm. You have to establish that in your mind and your heart. 
We're living under our curse. Amen. Yes. This is not God's best. Yes. Right. It's fallen. Mm -hmm. And you, we are living in a fallen earth. Amen. Yes. And that's all we've ever known. Mm -hmm. But that's not how it started. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't mean that's what God has for you. Amen. But you got to learn. Amen. What you can do about it. Amen. Amen. And then you gotta put it into practice. Amen. What you Amen. can do about it. Amen. 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 See, my people are destroyed for what? Lack of knowledge. So then you can get destroyed and you don't know any better. Mm -hmm. You can think that you can't do anything about that situation and you can. You can think that I have no authority over that situation, and you do. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. So let's go back to Adam. Let's see how God created us. And then the only reason why we want to know how God created us and what happened is because he said when we're talking about failure to understand we are a new creature in Christ, if you don't know why Jesus came and who, what he means by born again or born from above or a new creature, then you'll never walk in the authority that God has given you. Mm. And I've seen all, in 46 years, I've seen a lot of fumbling, bumbling Christians. Come on, speak Good intentions. Good heart. Mean well. But living to feed the lives. Amen. And stop believing that lie that you got to be defeated. Mm -hmm. That everybody's Amen. defeated in some area. Mm -hmm. That is not the Bible. Amen. Now why would God tell us to live something that's impossible to live? That's that's a bad joke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's it. That's something that's that's craziness. Why would I tell? I call it chat. But why would I tell this baby to do something in school that she's incapable of doing? And then give her a help. Mm -hmm. And I knew she was going to fail from the start. Jesus. All right, Jesus. All right. All right. Would that be just? No. no. Then why would God give us this word, mm. tell us to live it, mm -hmm. and then know that it's impossible to do. Why not just give it to us? Don't even give us no word. What's the instructions for then? All right, you with me? Amen. All right, Genesis 1, 26. You got it? Amen. Now I'm reading out Amplified, just like the Amplified. You can read out of your King James and NASB. Uh, but you got it? Amen. All right. Then God said, let us, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, that's when he said us, that's who he's talking about. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. God said, let us make man in our what? Amen. Amen. Then, if we are made in God's image, we ought to be like God, right? Amen. Amen. I didn't say we were God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you're made in someone's image, you ought to have some things and attributes like them, right? Amen. Mm -hmm. Now, two Amen. things I want you to write down, write in your notes or whatever you're putting it. Put infinite. infinite. Put it down. About the. Just to help you. And then put finite. Finite. All right. Now Genesis 1 and 1 says, in the beginning who? God. In the beginning who? God. In the beginning who? God. Then there is nothing that exists without God. Amen. You have to establish that. And then it said, God created the heavens 
And the Hebrew, that word in that King James or whatever, you'll see it heaven, singular. Some of the other versions, you'll see heaven <laughs> because he's talking about the universe. He said, in the beginning, if you go over to Hebrews 11 and 3, you'll see it. As a matter of fact, hold that and turn there with me, and then we'll go back. Because we're talking about God, and we're going to get into the image of God. But Hebrews 11 and 3, would you go there? Right quick. Now remember, i got to turn these pages, so you got to stick with me, all right? Now, what does it say there? By faith. Through faith, we have, we do what? So you have a lot of things you ain't going to understand unless you believe it. Amen. Amen. All right. You just won't have an understanding. See, and so if you don't believe it, then you can't receive it. He says, through faith, we understand what? That the what? Worlds. Worlds. Well, we that means more than one, right? That means there's more than one. Well, they wasn't using the word universe, so he was talking about the world, the universe. Through faith, we understand that the worlds were how? Right. Were framed or put together by what? The word. the word of God. You see, God is infinite. God, when you see Genesis 1 and 1, God just steps on the scene. He doesn't say, he doesn't announce anything. He steps on the scene and says, I'm God, and this is how it all starts. Amen, amen. And so if you believe anything else, then that's where your start is going to be. Amen. And then that's where your results are going to be. Amen. But then I believe that there's an infinite God. Amen. So let's look at that word infinite, and then we'll get into image, okay? Okay. I believe that God is infinite, almighty, all-powerful, omnipotent, almighty, all-powerful, omniscient, all-knowledgeable. God knows everything. There's nothing that God does not know. He is God and God all by himself. Amen. He didn't come from anything. He didn't come from anybody. He He was always here. He always be here. When everything passes away, he says the heavens and the earth will pass away before my word passes away. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so you got to understand that this word infinite. Now man creates words. God didn't have to create these words. Man create words trying to describe almighty, all-powerful God. And these are the words and definitions that man came up with for God. Come on. Infinite, say limitless, limitless. or endless in space, yes. extent, yes. or size, yes. impossible to measure, yes. or calculate, yes. boundless, yes. unlimited, yes. without limits, yes. without end, yes. or beginning. So man was trying to understand the infinite and put these words together to try to explain to you who God is. Come on, teach. He's infinite. Yeah. He's boundless. Come on. He has no limits. Yes. Right. He can't lie. Yes. You know why God cannot lie? Because anything he says is so. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. If God says the day is Monday. We just entered into Monday. Amen. 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 He's God. Yeah. Preach it. And you have to understand that He's infinite, boundless, limited. There's no restrictions on God. But two, two things God can't do. He can't lie, and He can't be unfaithful. The Bible says it's impossible for God to lie. Uh -huh. Amen. And he can't be unfaithful. All right. Amen. Amen. You need to know that in your approach to God that he's infinite. Uh -huh. yeah. 
There are some things that you and I are not ever going to understand. Everybody said, well, you know when I get to heaven? No, you will not understand everything we about God when you get to heaven because God is infinite. Amen. You will never and establish that in your heart. He, oh, he's God. He's infinite. There are some things that you will never understand about God. But if you could totally break down God, then he would not be God. That's it. He would be something less. Are you hearing me? Yes. 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 Now, let's look at us. Let's look at the word finite. Yes. Come on. Mm. Having limits yes. or boundaries yes. subject to limitations yes. restricted. Yes. <laughs> so I'm dealing with somebody that's unlimited and I'm trying to approach him and make myself understand him from a finite perspective. Mm -hmm. And so because man cannot grasp and understand God, then they create things. Come on, come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't understand no beginning, so I'll say you came from an ape. <laughs> come on. And before you got to an ape, you came from a prim primordial soup. And out of that, you were burst out of that. Now, before that, there was a big bang steer. And all. now, look, look at this. You rather, man, rather believe that he came from a dummy, from an unorganized universe. It all came together somehow. In the midst of all that confusion, it would be just like me taking this watch off, stomping it into 2,000 pieces and grinding it. Throwing it out there, and then all of a sudden, this is all come back together. <laughs> and be organized and structured and function. Or I choose, or you should choose to believe there is an almighty God that organized and structured all of this, and He knows what's best for you and I. Amen, 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 amen. And He gives us His word. Amen. Because we're finite. So, he tells you to do this or don't do that because he knows what's best for you. Amen. Why does he know what's best for you? He created you. Yeah, amen. Now, understanding that, now we understand we're made in the image of God with what? Restrictions. With limitations. We can never be almighty God. Because we got what? Restrictions and limitations. We got what? Restrictions and limitations. Restrictions and limitations, right? Now, so God made us in his image after his likeness. Now let's get back to there, all right? You with me? All right, now let's read. Then God said, let us, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, make man in our image according to our likeness, not physical, but a spiritual personality and moral likeness, and let them have complete authority, that, or the King James said, dominion. Well, where's the complete authority that God was giving them? On earth. Remember, not the universe. Mm -hmm. On earth. Amen. We're earth men. Mm -hmm. yes. He gave us complete authority over this earth. Yes. That's important that you understand that. Or dominion. Mm -hmm. We're to rule, to dominate. That's what Adam, he told Adam. He says you to rule, to dominate, have absolute authority over everything on this earth. Mm -hmm. Everything. Everything. You have to understand that so that when man fails, 
then everything that man had authority over fell. Wow. Mm. Wow. Wow. Jesus. Let's read. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look what it says. He says, and let them have complete authority over the what? Fish. Fish of the sea and over what? The birds, the birds of the air and the what? The cattle. And over the what? Yes. Over the entire earth. So in this sense, now understand me clearly because I'm not saying that he was a God. In this sense, he was the God of this earth. Uh -huh. He had authority over this earth. Uh -huh. Everything on this earth was subject to him. There was nothing on this earth not subject to Adam. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Now read. Let's read. The entire earth. And over everything that what? Creeps. Creeps and crawls over roaches and everything. Over everything. Amen. No roaches creep and crawl, Tony? He said, Adam, everything that's down here. You have dominion over Amen. It, complete authority over yes. So God created man in his own image, in the, in the image of and in, in, in the image and likeness of God created he him, male and female, he created him. Uh -huh. And God blessed them, gathered them to a certain authority and, and gathered, granted them certain authority and said to them, be fruitful, multiply. Feel the earth and subject it, put it, putting it under your power my, my, my. and rule and dominion. Yes. It is under your power, rule, yes. dominion, the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and every living thing that moves upon the earth. My, my, my. So God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is in the it, that, it, that is on the surface of the entire earth, mm -hmm. and every tree ha and every tree which has fruit yielding seed, it shall be food for you. So there was a time the man didn't eat meat. Come on. <laughs> now you know people trying to get back to that, and you know they say that you know that's the most healthy. Yeah. We pass that now. Uh -huh. Come on. <laughs> that's the truth. Come on. Now we are we are past that uh -huh. because failure already doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. There was a time that plants was enough nutrition by themselves without doing anything else because God didn't design you to eat meat in the beginning. Okay. There, was a, there was a time before failure, you need to understand this, when you see all of this corruption, there was a time that a lion would not eat a lamb. Come on. Okay. Come on, preach now, Pastor. Preach. <laughs> Now, there was a time that dogs and cats didn't fight. Come on. All of these things that we see and recognize as this earth now is because it's fallen. Yes, yes. Not because God created this this way. Let me show you. Let's move on. I don't want to argue with you. I want to show it to you. All right. Hallelujah. 31st, and to all the animals on the earth, and to every bird of the air, that's powerful, isn't it? God says, Adam, I ain't gonna get into this, so I'm gonna leave this off. But Adam, come on. You look at that bird, if you say come down, it got to come down. It got to come down. Uh-huh. 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 My God, my God. Come on. Everything. Jesus. Oh, I want to get in, but I can't. Mm. Take your time, pal. <laughs> and to all the animals on the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that moves on the ground. Now, God is not ignorant, so why is he being repetitious? Because it's for us. Amen, amen. It's for us. He wants you to understand that I gave this man everything. Amen. Jesus. And I put it under his control. Mm -hmm. I left it under his authority. Amen. All right, all right, all right, all right. Three. To everything in which there is what? 
the breath of life. He said, just in case, I ain't going to name everything, but everything is breathing. Adam, you got control over it. Come on. Mm. You got authority over it. I have given every green plant for food, and it was so, and be, because he Jesus. commanded it. Jesus. And now look at the 31st verse. This is where we're going. And God saw that, and God saw everything that he made, and behold, it was what? Very good. It was what? Very good. He thought enough to say, it wasn't just good. Now, before he was making stuff, before he put, made Adam, and the Lord saw it was good. Mm -hmm. But then God got Adam involved in this <laughs> and said, everything. Very good. I'm such a magnificent God. Uh -huh. I made him. And it's very good. Amen. All right, all right, all right, all right. I made them. That's why it ain't no him and him and her and her. It's him and her. If God wanted another species, what he did, what he did, he would have made it. Amen. 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 He only made a male and a female. Amen. Of every kind. Amen. Right. Mm -hmm. And all of creation knows what they were made to do. Right. You don't want to struggle? <laughs> <laughs> you don't see two dogs, two male dogs. <laughs> but as soon as a female getting heat, all of them run in that direction. They know what they were created Amen. to do. So you let this modern stuff get in your head and you don't understand. If you don't get back to the word, you're going to constantly be lost. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. What the word says. Yes. You'll have no discernment. Mm -hmm. Somebody can tell you anything. And you think they're wiser than you because some degree. No, no one is wiser than an infinite God. And God knows how he instructed everything. And check this out. When things get out of order, they get dysfunctional, and then all of a sudden nobody knows what's right, what's wrong. They don't know what to think. So what are you going to do next if they tell you that a man and an animal are supposed to be together? <laughs> What are you going to do? My little sweet Scotty, dead and gone, I wish some joker would come rising. I'm not belittling something. I'm trying to get you to think how God set up everything. And when it's functioning the way he had designed it to function, it'll function. Amen. 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 Say, Pastor, I saw a few more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and God saw everything that he made, and behold, it was very good. And he validated it completely. And the evening, and there was evening, and there was morning, a sixth day. God looked. Now, always remember when you're reading the Bible, God is trying to explain to you in your our terms so that you can understand. God knew what he did was good. Mm -hmm. What he was trying to let us know is that it was good. Mm -hmm. I didn't make no mistakes. I didn't do I, I didn't create any error. I didn't create junk. I didn't create nothing. These storms you see, all these dangerous, terrible storms, God didn't create that. Now, I was a little boy, and we were hearing storms and tornadoes. You know what they would tell us? They said, be quiet, sit down, quit quiet, and let God do his work, right? 
Then if the house next door got hit with a lightning, who you thought hit it? God. <laughs> word. So then you tell this little child that the lightning struck his mother, and who did it? God. <laughs> if that's God's work. But I can show you in the Bible where storm rolled and God stood against them. They were coming to destroy. And he spoke to the storm. Well, if the storm came from God, then God was in rebellion against what he had created. Wow. Wow. All right now. All right now. Because he told the storm, hush, stop your activity. They were afraid they were, about, they were about to drown. Uh -huh. So then we have to find there has to be some other work in the I, I, I operation. Talk about it now. Because God has established everything that He created. Read Genesis, the first chapter, for yourself. Read it a thousand times. And everything He created it was good and then very good. In the second chapter, he began to talk about man and he goes into more, uh, he just gets more detail how I made it. He said, and man, God formed man out of the dust of the ground. Uh -huh. This body was not the original body. The original body that God created didn't get sick. Mm -hmm. The original body that God created didn't know death. The original body knew nothing about tears yes. and pain yes. and suffering. Yes. Yes. God created man out of the dust of the ground and then he said and breathe into his nostril. Uh -huh. That's Genesis 2 and 7. Mm -hmm. When God created us, we were just dust at first. Mm -hmm. What made us valuable in the eyesight of God because the ground was there. Mm -hmm. The dust was there. That wasn't valuable. What made us valuable is when God breathed into us. breath. He breathed into us. His self. And that's why we're made in his image. And that's why God makes us accountable because he knows what he's put in us. And so he said, I know what I put in you, so I know what you're how you're capable of thinking, what you're capable of doing, and I'll make you accountable. Come on, come on. Now, he makes man accountable. He, he gives him life, authority over the whole earth. Now look at Genesis 2.15. <laughs> Remember I said restrictions? I said man had what? Restrictions, right? You see, what we want and man want the same thing today. We want liberty. We want to do everything we want to do. Come on. We want to have all the benefits of God. Come every on. last one of them. Mm -hmm. But no accountability. Come on. Yeah. That's how see, I grew up in the 70s. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, at that time, being virtuous and chaste and things like that in the 60s and then in the 70s they hit a revolution but in the 60s it was kind of like you know you just don't do certain things Amen. you don't embarrass your family you don't do your family like that you don't you just don't do certain That's things right. and it was all based on the word of God Amen. then the 70s hit with, with a revolution everybody want to free everything it's free love, love. You can't be with the one you love, just love the one you with. <laughs> you know, we were, we, were, we were just doing it all. 
having orgies and everything else and everybody just doing whatever they wanted to do. Because we didn't like the restrictions that our parents have put on us. And we didn't think they were, we thought they were old and chaotic, I mean, ancient and unacquainted and there was no good anymore. But before then, we didn't have AIDS. Amen. That's right. Wow. You're right. We didn't know what herpes was. There were a couple of diseases, but it was all that stuff out there. You couldn't die. But we wanted to throw off all restraints. And we did. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we party and we raise children mm -hmm. to be the same way. Amen. Yeah. And then two generations, especially in the African American community, where we had strong families, didn't have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Right. Didn't even have a lot of education, but had strong, solid two family homes. Amen. Amen. Where there was a father, a divine father, and a divine mother, and people live with certain rules and regulations, and you ain't afraid to go outside. Tell it. That's the truth. Ooh, come on. Ooh, tell it. These neighborhoods didn't always look like this. Amen. Amen. That's the truth. And it wasn't because of a lack of money. There was respect. Come on. Amen. I remember just when your ball was rolling your neighbor's grass, you get kind of afraid to go in and get your ball because your neighbor, you respected a lot. Amen. Come on, yes. That's the truth. That's the truth. No, it's not old fashioned. It's respect. Amen. It's boundaries. Amen. It's restriction. Amen. Because God knows man without restriction, a man or woman left to himself will destroy himself. Amen. So what do you see now? Do you like it better? No. No, no, no. No. Do you like stepping out your door? The haunting bullet. I didn't know what an alarm was. <laughs> we left our windows open. Amen. Our doors open. Amen. Yes, we did. You like it better? <laughs> Come on. No. Because God, see, them parents knew something we didn't know. Come on. Yeah. We thought they were, I, I mean, I thought, thought they were old fashioned. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. They didn't know what they were talking about. Right. They need to get updated. <laughs> <laughs> now they knew exactly what they were talking about. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. When they said, be in the house before the sun go down, Amen. my father used to tell me, he knew exactly what he was talking about. Because yeah, he said, right. anything after it gets dark and you ain't out there and you ain't working, it's trouble. Amen. 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 That's right. That's right. Amen. God didn't create this, is what I'm trying. And so, God, Genesis 2.15 says what? Uh -huh. Read it. Yes, and selling him in the garden mm -hmm. to cultivate and keep it. What did he do? He made man, put him in the garden, and gave him a job. Amen. All right, now he gave him a job. I said he gave him a job. Oh, yes, having a job is spiritual. Oh, yeah, work is honorable Amen. and spiritual. Amen. He said, now, he really, he really is not creative. He's going to describe how he came here. He said, I won't even bring a woman into this world and bring into this man and bring into this man's presence unless he got himself together. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Think about that. Mm -hmm. This man has power over the whole earth. Mm -hmm. God says, now, you have this power, but you got to keep it up. Amen. You dress and keep it, that means you got to cultivate it, you got to make sure things stay in oil, mm -hmm. and you got to do it all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
That should tell you something, sister. <laughs> I'm just saying. Come on. If he can't dress and keep himself. Amen. No, I ain't talking about clothes. I'm talking about if he can't keep the things in his own life for God and keep a home for himself and keep things for himself. Then how is he going to do it? To you? Tell it. Tell it. So if you got him where he was in dressing and keeping and organizing, what you think? Gonna happen. Now you got to try to train him. <laughs> Because that's what you find yourself doing. And some sort of way you're trying to motivate and train and position him for, he should, for, for what he should already have been doing when you made him. That's right. Amen. That's right, son. That's so right. Ouch. <laughs> okay. What's that next verse? And then we're going home. Take your time. Genesis 2.16, what does it say? And the Lord God and the man said, Amen. All conditions are eaten. The fruit of every tree of the garden. Read the next verse. But only from the tree of knowledge, recognition of good and evil, you shall not eat. Otherwise, on the day that you eat from it, you shall most certainly die because of what? You see, and I'm going to close on this and we'll get back to it next week. God never wanted you to know evil. He only wanted you to know good. That's it. He only designed you to know good. That's how Adam, when, when God left off, remember, he rested. His work was completed. And the Bible says he saw everything was what? Very, Very good. good. He never intended for mankind to ever know evil. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, Jesus. But if you give someone power and authority, mm -hmm. dominion, mm -hmm. then you have to give them accountability. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, there has to be consequences. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But God never meant for us to experience all, all of this stuff. That's why when people come say, well, Pastor, say, I, I, I know what this pain and hurt. I lost two grandbabies. Mm -hmm. And then I never thought I had to pre preach at their funeral. Mm -hmm. So then I had to live what I knew. Deuteronomy 29 and 29, you need to read it sometimes. It says, the things which has been revealed belong unto the children of man. Mm -hmm. The secret things belong unto the Lord. Lord I was not going to stand up there and say, God took the babies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God is the giver of life. Amen. But there is someone that gives death. Mm -hmm. The Bible calls him the last enemy. Mm -hmm. It's death. Mm -hmm. Then if he's an enemy, how can he be your friend? Yes. Right. Uh -huh. There is a destroyer. The Bible said, Jesus said, I came that you might have what? Life, Life. and have it how? More abundantly. But he said, there is an enemy. Uh -huh. And he comes to do something just the opposite. He'll he comes kill. to rob, to kill, and destroy. destroy. And just because you don't understand things, don't charge it to God's account. That's right. That's right. That's right. Just because you can't put an answer to it, don't mean that God had anything to do with it. You just don't know the answer. Come on, come on, teach it, Pastor. That's it. 
That's it. That's it. Because everything that I saw about God and the way he created us, it was what? Good. good. And that's all he ever intended was our good. Amen. But he gives Adam instruction. He says, you can freely eat of everything that I've created. But here's the deal, Adam. Don't touch that tree. Mm -hmm. He says, because when you touch that tree, mm -hmm. you're going to discover some things you were never meant to discover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, how many times have we walked in life and our parents have told us, don't do that? Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and we do it anyway. Then we get into some uh, world of mess. My mom used to say, one moment, one bad decision can cause you a lifetime of trouble. I know people like that. I know a young man that was 18 years old. He did made a decision that he's in jail for today. I'm 67. He's about 66. He's in jail today because of one decision. Somebody said the system ain't fair. It ain't fair to take somebody life either. Because that parent, that, that, they, don't, they, don't, they don't get their father back. They don't get their child back. That ain't fair either. No, no. Guns don't shoot themselves. Mm -hmm. Come on. That's right. That's right. One decision mm -hmm. can change your life. Mm -hmm. That's why the Bible gives us instructions mm -hmm. so that we can make the right decisions. Amen. Amen. Now God is merciful and God is kind and he'll help us. But don't think you can just keep on doing the wrong thing and that it's going to turn out right for you. That's right. That's right. Come on and say it to your feet. You see, when we get more and more into this, man, what made, you know, I got saved on February 28th, 1977. But I can't tell you that I really love God and I fear him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, I fear him. Yeah, buddy. They, when they, and they said God, I was like, oh yeah, yes, 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 I fear him. But when I began to learn about his character, uh -huh. yeah. his attributes, uh -huh. yeah. how good he was, uh -huh. what it took uh -huh. for him to give his life for me, the price that he paid me, uh -huh. oh man, then I began to fall in love with him. Because I realized that an infinite, eternal God didn't have to do that for his creation. But he said, what is man that I am mindful of him? What is man? What, who are you without God? Who are you really? Who have defined your life? What is man? What, what are we without God? We see what we become without God. Come on, come on, come on. We didn't want him in our schools. We see what our schools became. Yeah. Yeah. We're pushing him out of government. We see what our government yeah. become. Yeah. What are we without God? We didn't want him in our family. We pushed him out. We see what our families have become. Amen. What are we? God is mindful. Of. 
us. But in spite of all the stuff, in spite of the rebellion and pushing God away, don't want nothing to do with God. You know what I learned? His love is inexhaustible. God still finds a way to love us in spite of us. Hallelujah. I say God still finds a way in spite of yourself. He finds a way to love you anyhow. And when that registered, my God said, I want to love you, God. See, now it's not about me just not doing something because I think I might get called or somebody might see me. I don't want to do it because I don't want to break his heart. I, I, I love my wife. I, I, I don't cheat on her because somebody might see me. I don't want to do it because I don't want to break her heart. I love her. And I love her when she's with me and when she ain't with me. I love her. And see, when you love somebody, you don't do things out of fear. You do things out of respect. Hallelujah. And some of you all, God has been just loving on you and drawing you. And loving on you. And you keep on resisting. But you going to get more out before he is. <laughs> he just kept on loving me over here. In my rebellious, sinful ways, he said, son, you coming on in. Now you can come in easy. <laughs> But you come in hard. But you coming on in. You can come in and have a, a, a live most, most of your life a good life, or you can waste your life. But you coming on in. Glory to God. Why? Because the love of God draws. It's hard to resist God's love. I will tell you. He just keep drawing. That's why the Bible tells us the goodness of God. It ain't the wrath of God that brings a person to repentance. It's the goodness of God. You finally wake up and begin to realize, in spite of myself, God's been good to me. I didn't get here by myself. I know what I deserve, but God's been good to me. Come here. 
else comes second to this. If you don't know Jesus, I make no apologies. You can't get to heaven through Muhammad. You can't get to heaven through practicing Buddhism and Mormonism and all that. The Bible says there's only one mediator between God and man. That's Jesus Christ. That's the only way When you stand, people come out. Well, when I they, they talk this stuff, and well, when I stood before Saint Peter, you ain't gonna stand before nobody but Jesus. And you know what? You're gonna either stand before Him in peace or in judgment. Because He said every knee gonna bow. So you know what I do? Every morning I can, I get my bow, and He ain't gonna have to make me bow. Hallelujah! Glory to God. I give you praise, Lord. I magnify you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your kindness. Hey, he ain't got the force, my dear. I'm going to bow. Because one day, everything, you may be too powerful, but one day, everything's going to bow. And you may not want to confess that he, but he said, every tongue, your tongue may be tied to the roof of your mouth. He said, but I'll open it up and make you confess that I'm Lord. So then just do it now. Do it now and have peace with God. So if you don't know Jesus Christ, if you ain't really sure, See, salvation is a sure thing. Yeah. It ain't a guessing thing. Uh -huh. You might say, you know you're going? Yes, I know that if I die right now, I'm going to be with the Lord. Yes. I ain't guessing. I ain't wondering. It's a sure thing. Amen. God ain't playing games with you. He wants you to know no, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, I beg of you to come and give your life to him. That's the most important thing you'll ever do. It won't be healed. It won't be given money. God don't mind that. But the most important thing, the most important decision you'll ever make in your life is to give your life to Jesus Christ. Yes, so yes, right now, yes, if anybody yes, yes, yes. see, I'm, everybody that Jesus asked to come to him, when they came to him, except for Nicodemus, and Nicodemus came by night because he didn't want to deal with all the people. 
But when people came to Jesus, they came to him openly and boldly. They wouldn't, they wouldn't shame. So if you want to come and give your life to Christ, come right now. If you kind of afraid to walk up here, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He loves you. Yes, come on. If you will pray this prayer, may it with all of your heart and soul. Yes. Yes. Today yes. will be your day of salvation. Amen. Say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. You died for me. And you rose from the grave with all power in your hands. I want you to forgive me, wash me, cleanse me with your blood. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Now I'm going to pray. I want y'all to pray with me. Now let me say to both of you all, it ain't in a feeling, but you, you will experience joy. Yeah. You will yes, experience peace. Yes. It ain't in that. Yes. It's in the prayer that you pray. Yes. You pray yes. And you'll see yes. God. Because it don't start on the outside. Mm -hmm. He starts on your inside. Yes. Yes. And he began to work yes. on everything yes. in your life that's not like him. Yes. Now I'm going to pray. Point your hands in this direction if you're a believer. Woo! Glory. You see, you ain't going to tell me people want to be saved. Young men. Praise the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost. Seal. What you have set your for. Yes. Teach them how to walk with you. Yes. Teach them how to live for you. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Open up their understanding. Yes. To what you have done for them this day. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Because I know God's going to do everything. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. He won't fail. Yes. Amen. And I'm going to do everything I can that can fail. Yes. And that this ministry won't fail. Yes. Amen. Come on in. And teach you how to walk. Yes. Amen. 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 Come on. The Bible, the Bible says the only time heaven rejoices. Amen. 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 Bible, see, I don't see. I don't have to confirm. The Bible says the Spirit of God will confirm. Yes. Amen. That you are the children of God. Yes. 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 Yes.
Yes. Amen. Amen. Still making Amen. Amen. All right. Yes. All right. Amen. All right. Go on. Give him a hug, brothers.